Hey everyone, welcome back. So in the last section, uh, we looked at global variables, how you can replace the dif different static values in your API URLs and parameters with the global variables. Now we are going to look at how you can create different environments in Postman and then use the environment variable scope within your Postman API, right? So we'll be looking at these topics how to create different environments, how you can add different environment variables, selecting an active environment, right? And then sharing environments with your teammates um, inside a team workspace. And then how you can delete the environments which you created earlier, how you can manage roles within the environment and how you can set the environment variable from the script, right? So let's get going, but before that, if you are new to our channel, I would like you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, QA Script. And so I post videos on a regular basis on different automation tools uh, like I'm doing right now for Postman. So if you want to keep continuing watching our videos and also get notified on every new video which is added to this channel, please subscribe here. Right, so you'll find a subscribe button at the bottom of right bottom of this video. You can also visit our channel and subscribe here. Right, so let's get going and let me get back to our Postman tool so that we can have a look. Right, so this was uh, our API, which is from the weather API. Where we sent a request, we got the response, we also replaced all the static values with the global variables. So right now we don't have any environment, right? This was one environment which I created earlier, but uh, we will see how we can create a new environment and then add these variables into that particular environment. So we'll, we'll use that, right? So this is the section where you will, it will list down all your environments, right? And then if you, click on this quick look, it will also show you the environments which you are using the environment variables. So right now we are only using the global variables. We are not using any environment variables, right? So you can add a environment from here or you can also click on this manage environment button and it will take you to all your environments here, right? So, so let's quickly create a new environment now. So first of all, uh, why do you require uh, environments, right? So typical use cases could be you have to execute your um, API tests on different environments, right? So for example, you have a development environment, production and a staging environment. So you want to have, you want to execute all your test scripts on these three environments, right? So the URLs might be different across these three environments, right? So if you use a global variable, it won't work in all the three environments because the URLs are different. So what do you do in that case? You will have to add environment variables. So what will what it will do? Whenever you choose a particular environment, it will pick up that value from that environment. So for a dev environment, you could have different value for a variable. For a production, it could be different, right? Similarly, um, in your team, if your developers have just access to the dev development environment, right, and they don't have access to staging or prod environment, so you need to have, you need to share those variables only for the dev environment, not for the production or staging environment, right? So if you make all your variables global, it would be a problem because your developers don't have access or they might get access to variables which they should not, right? So in those kind of scenarios, you can use environments in Postman. So let's get going and let's add an environment here. So I'm going to add here a development environment, right? Or you can say, um, since we are using a weather API, let me create a weather API, right? So, so this is my environment name and here I'm going to add all the variables, right? So let's create this environment and then I'm going to take all these values here, right? So 
let's see what are the values. So this is my base URL. So let me add this to the environment. So you can click on this to edit or add a new variable, right? And again, the initial value and current value, which we discussed. So this is our URL or you can call it base URL, right? And then the current value. Then, okay, so we have another parameter called this, right? So let's add that. And then finally we have a API key, right? So let's copy that and we'll add it here. So yeah, so this is our token. So let's take this and I'm going to add it here. So token, right? And then this, I have a name like this in my APIs. So I will give this name here and update it, right? So our weather API. So this, you might consider it as a production environment, right? Similarly, you can create a dev environment and you can uh, have the same values, same variables, but different values, right? So how do you execute this right now? I have added my environment variables. So these are, you can see the global variables. Um, let me go ahead and actually remove these, right? because I don't want to use the global variables. So let's remove these and save it. Okay, so let's do one thing now. Since we have declared our environment variables, you think this get request should work, right? So let's get going and send this request and you will see the request was not successful or it did not found the base URL. That's the message it is displaying, right? So this variable was not resolved. Now, what was the reason? The reason was we did not select any environment, right? If you see the drop down, it is currently saying no environment. So when you don't select an environment, the variables are not in scope, right? To make, to bring these variables in scope, you need to select a particular environment. Right, so that's the difference between global and uh, global variables and environment variables. Right, so in global variables, you can directly access these variables, but in um, environment variables, you need to select the environment. Right, so this city is still unresolved because we actually gave it a different name. So let's change this. Right, so this is how you can edit your variables easily and update them. So now let's send this request again. And you will see this time it will be successful, right? So we got the response, the desired response with our environment variables, right? So this is how you add environment variables and then how you can edit them and how you select a current environment, okay? Now, Say for example, uh, I want to create another environment, right? So we already have a dev environment here. You can easily add another environment here, right? So maybe staging, okay? And here I um, want to use the same, I mean, I can use the same variables, but with different values. Okay, so for example, I can have the city variable, but here my value would be something else, right? So let's give it Mumbai and add it, right? So now I have a staging environment and it has got a city variable, but with a different value. So when you use this vari variable with this environment, it's going to use this value, right? So this is how you can have multiple values for the same variable in different environments. And you can execute your requests, API request on different environments, right? Now, let's um, have a look how you can share this 
a um, this environment across your team right so i can share it across any of my workspaces right here once you select your workspace which who with whom you want to share just tell uh, whether you want to share this environment or share environment and remove from this workspace so it will remove this environment from here and it will share with the another workspace or you can just share it with another workspace right so once you share that workspace will have access to this particular environment right so all the environment variables will be available on that workspace okay so that is how you can share your environment variables so now what's left um, so we looked at how we can create environments how we can add environment variables how we can select an environment active environment how we can share the environments right then we'll see how we can delete environments and also manage rules in the environment right so let's have a look let's go back to our postman and here so here if you click on these three dots right for your environment you will see a manage roles option so once you click on manage roles right uh, you you can um, actually select a user or for your users or everyone in your team you can select a particular option right for the free version only editor is there by default but in paid version you can also select it as a viewer only okay so this is how you can uh, add another user and also you can uh, define their permissions right so whether they can edit or they can only view these environment variables okay and then you can save the roles here similarly if you click on manage environments you can go here in view more actions and you can there are two options actually um, you can either delete it completely or you can just remove it from this workspace so if you have shared it across to some other workspace it will not be removed there okay so let's go ahead and delete this environment so my dev environment is now deleted right and close this window so this is how you can remove the environments and you can also manage your environments for your users with the permissions okay so saying that now let's see how you can set environments right these environment variables on the script at script like right? so if you go to prerequest script so what is prerequest script it is a script which is executed before the get request is sent to the server so before anything any execution this prerequest script will execute after that only this request will be sent and a response would be received right so this is the first script which will be executed now you can easily set an environment variable either you can write your own javascript code here or there is something called snippets right test snippets which you can select here so if you go to snippets on the right hand side you will find something called set an environment variable right so you can set an environment variable from your script using this code javascript code right so we'll be talking more about test snippets uh, pre-request script how you can add test uh, in later videos but just to give a brief idea about how you can set the variable I am just showing you how you can do it from the script, right? So, if uh, you want to declare the um, declare an environment variable, you need to pass the key and the value. So, let's give it uh, the city, and here we will give it uh, um, London, right? So, once you execute or you send this request your pre-request script will be executed right so let's change this to something else okay so let's make it mumbai and we will now send this request right so even though uh, the environment variable value is london when you execute the script the pre-request script it will uh, set this city value to mumbai okay so 
let's send this request and so let's see now as you can see even though the environment variable had a different value it actually set it actually changed that value right so when there is a local variable right defined within your script that takes precedence over your environment variables okay so the scope with the lowest uh, or the variable with the lowest scope will actually take precedence over the higher scope okay so here even though we had an environment variable with a different value we had a, we can update it using our script or we can directly set it using our script right so as you can see it has returned the weather for the new location which is mumbai and not london okay and it if you look at your environment variables the city variable was automatically updated from the script right so this is how um, you can set your environment variables from the postman ui or you can also use the script to set the environment variables okay so i hope uh, this was clear and uh, you learned how to add environment variables and manage your variables inside any environments right in the next section we'll be looking uh, at more at some other uh, variables like we'll also look at how you can add a collection how you can put your requests inside the collection and also add a collection variable okay so i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any comments or feedback please leave uh, on this video and i will surely get back to you if you like this video please give a thumbs up and see you in the next video